The backbeat in our last example started pushing us in a slightly funky direction, so let's follow that. A great place to start is with the so-called Bow Diddley beat. One, two, three, four. This pattern may look difficult at first, but if you break the beat down into a 16th note subdivision, you'll find a 3-3-2 pattern in the first half of the measure that may help you get a handle on it. One, two, three, two, two, three, two. Slow it down and count out every 16th note if you have to, then gradually speed it up until you can play it at the speed you want to. Bo Diddley's name graces this pattern since he popularized it in tunes like Bo Diddley and Mona. You can play the complete one measure pattern over a single chord as shown in the previous example, but you can also switch chords in the middle of the pattern like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. This example includes a few more strums for a pattern similar to the Rolling Stones cover of Buddy Holly's Not Fade Away. Notice that the accents place the emphasis on the same beats as our previous example. Interestingly, Buddy Holly's original version of Not Fade Away used a less syncopated pattern which is virtually identical but accents the eighth note upbeat on beat one instead of the following sixteenth note. It sounds similar to this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 